Goddamn Reynolds. Reynolds playing Jita. Up against UTJ, who's playing, um, what's it called? Who's playing Fairy. UTJ is like a, an old school Street Fighter 4 player, if you guys remember. He played a long time ago. So I figured we can check out some of um, some of the footage for this. Yeah, so I haven't been able to play this character, female Gran. Uh, and part of the reason is like, you know, she's not out on PC. So when she does come out, I'm going to give her a try. But because of that, I, you know, wanted to check out some footage of the character. But right now, anyways, we're gonna have yeah, it seems like the VOD's working a little better. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm curious, especially, so she, she has a few differences from Gran, right? One of the big ones is, like, this EX Slash is what she has, I guess, instead of the boot, right? This is the different move. She has a fireball, same kind of thing. She has an uppercut, same kind of thing. The big one, for sure, is that this move is the medium version, I think, is minus four. I think the light version is minus six, and you can space both of them out to be relatively safe to most characters, right? I mean, minus four is safe, but minus six as well. The other thing is that the EX version has a ton of corner carry. You saw how far that went? It goes extremely far, so I, it gives her a little bit of a access to extra corner carry, and then like you know, yeah, it's just a good move. Oh, no punish. That sucks. I think it's because he blocked it so high up in the air. So Reynold, you know, he knows the matchup. This is a, a good example of matchup knowledge that you know from Reynold here. He stand blocks with the guard button here. The reason is the expected mix-up is a roll through to this side so that Fairy can get out of the corner. It's a really common setup. It allows her to escape. She dodges. Uh, UTJ is looking for uppercut here. So you dodge so that the GG uh, hits and then you get a combo. But st he still gets pressure even if Reynolds doesn't uppercut there, right? So like, pretty safe mix-up. Fireballs, there's the roll. GG setup. Oh, that was a good try to punish the uh, instant overhead. Yeah, Reynold, Reynolds in trouble here, for sure. This is a pretty big deficit, and, you know, she she runs fast. And most characters run pretty quick forward when they're trying to move in, but, like, you can't run and then block, and it's really hard because this character, she just sort of naturally punishes a lot of the movement options in this game quite well. Jumping heavy. Same as Grand's. Her jumping U is very similar, too. That one right there, very similar. Sweet fireball. Her, her sweep seems good, too, actually. I saw at low profiles a ton of stuff, much like Gran, and it's uh, the recovery on it seems very good. Her uppercut also seems like, uh, oh, only a light punish, too. Man, that didn't hurt at all. That didn't hurt at all, actually. It was just light, light. It's not so bad. I wonder if the charge fireball is more useful in this matchup than um, Gran's regular fireball, right? Because... So Gran's medium fireball has two hits on it, which is really good for beating other people's projectiles. But in a matchup like this, you know, maybe not the most useful thing ever. I know that uh, obviously this character has access to EX Whip to beat projectiles and stuff, but Jesus, that hitbox. Another example of Fairy's buttons and just, a, you know, a thing about Fairy in general. Generally in this game, Right, roll will be mid mid attacks, right? So rolls lose the low attacks. But this move from Fairy, this standing heavy punch, has so many active frames that oftentimes, even if you quote unquote roll through it, you don't actually make it through. The active frames of that move will still hit you. You'll notice that even when you're really far from the character, you'll roll to cover distance and you'll make it through, and then at the end of it you get snapped and tagged by one of the active frames of standing heavy punch. It's very it's a really good move. You sort of accidentally beat roll with it, which is like really good. <laughs> yeah, that corner escape is such a useful thing to have for this character. Reynold hits heavy punch. He doesn't have EX uh, Rekka. He just used it, right? He doesn't have the EX swipe. So because of that, he just has fireball, which at this range doesn't really give you that much pressure. He tries heavy punch again, jump swings Reynold tries to anti-air with regular timing has now escaped the corner and look at the range on this jump head it's not easy to contest stuff like this from the air you know dodge on the ex whip i don't like dodge i'd rather see roll combo off this yeah crouching heavy into the ex fireball deadly rave Jesus, that fucking hurt. Yeah, light into light, light auto combo. K 
kill him. Yeah. Easy peasy. That did a shit ton of damage, by the way. I think the starter, though, was like H into EX slash, right? So it, it makes sense. It was H, EX, H, EX, H, super. That does a lot of damage. Counter hit. Oh, that sucks. I think if you do the light slash, you can like get a combo after normally. I think the medium slash combo is on non-counter hit, though. Yeah, medium slash for the knockdown. EX. I think the EX is pretty safe, and also it bases you out pretty far after, too. Gotta be side switch here. Yeah, that's why he dodged last time to avoid that uppercut, which Reynolds did this time. EX Fireball, Deadly Rave, same thing we saw last time. This will be less damage than before, um, you know, because it's scaled quite a bit with the auto combo in the beginning. Still good damage, but... Late tech. DP. Same as Grant. She has that light DP that recovers really quickly. Really good option. Really good answer to char characters like Fairy. Especially because far away, her punish on DP is not good, right? It's not like she has a huge punish a lot of the times. Especially on light uppercut. Yeah, you see Reynolds just using the EX slash for corner carry constantly and constantly thinking, Lee Dan, thanks very much for dropping the big Twitch Prime. Have I ever reviewed Leffen? I haven't given him his quarterly review, no, or thought about giving him a bonus at all, or given Mictornation. Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime. Uh, I've watched matches of his on stream, yeah. We watched like the Goichi Leffen match in Dragon Ball and stuff. So does her medium medium only combo on counter hit? Does anybody know? It's It sort of looks like it so far. Not gonna kill. Nice. He hasn't brought out overhead yet, so I like that option. It's plus four on regular hit, so I see. So she can't combo off her standing medium by itself unless, uh, what's it called? It counter hits? Zero on block? Mm. Is her standing light five frames or close light? I could probably just check the frame data sheet, actually, I guess. but I like asking the chat room. You guys usually have additional information. Five, yeah, okay. So she can, she can combo on ca crouch, uh, standing medium into uh, crouching light. That's what is interesting in this game. Actually, a lot of people when they see stuff like this in this game, standing medium into standing medium, they just block, you know. And the interesting thing is like, you know. Percival players do this all the time in this character. I see Narmaya do it. A lot of the times you can actually hit buttons depending on what they're actually going to do next. But you don't always know. Like if she commits to the five frame light or something, it's like, well, or she commits to like her 2L, it's like, well, you might lose there. But like as, you know, fairy, you just don't want to hit a button. Yeah, because if it's, if standing medium is zero and he's doing standing medium, stagger, standing medium, it's not so good. This is what I wanted. If the fairy player is canceling her buttons into the whip, you should roll because the recovery is massive. This is a punish. And he's dead. You just do EX fireball off the 2H. Super. Deadly rave. That's what you got to do. If she's canceling into GG, you want to use some horizontal move, right? Some, they, like, you know. Catalina Lunge, uh, Percival, you know, Command Dash, this character Slash, Normaya Slash. You want to use something like that. If she commits to the whip, you want to roll it. If possible. Man, that's pretty far corner carry. Yeah, so when you're, you know, play, fighting against this character, Fairy, you really got to keep in mind what she's canceling into. It's important. Oh, I think he traded with Gigi maybe there, it looked like almost. Yeah. I think he could have done EX whip maybe there if he had it on cooldown. I'm not sure, but chose not to. Wow, that was a counter hit. Not even a combo. And he did the light slash. Oh, oh dead. Damn. Yeah, you know, Reynold, I think he got beat up in the first game, but he's done a really good job in neutral of switching between uppercut, fireball. Yeah, see, dodge, roll, jump. It's like really hard to zone somebody in this game with fairy if you're consistent about mixing up those options because you're forcing them to make guesses about what you're going to do instead of like just playing like um, a zoning game where you put out stuff first. Sweep. 
Oh, I think he tried empty low, which Reynold loves to do. Jump into jump into block the DP. Into not quite kill, but a deadly rave. Oh, actually, it might. Even with the scaling, I'm not sure. I think she's alive, actually. Yeah, I tried to reset. Damn. The ball was going to miss, so Reynolds was probably going to do H into EX slash or something. I don't know, actually. It's I don't know if this character is better or worse than Gran yet. It's, it seems like maybe... Because, you know, you have to think... I'm sure that when this character is released like this, it's probably with in mind to the changes that are going to come out in the next balance patch as well, right? You know what I mean? Like, this character will probably not change too much in whatever the next balance patch is, I'm sure.